guess what time it is? Mama's story time. Yay! Hello, my darlings. How's everybody today? You having a good day? Yeah? We've had a lovely day here. It's been raining and sunny. It was a great day today. Well, it's story time and I'm going to read you a cool story today. It's called The Princess and the Pig. Cute, hey? Okay, let's go. The Princess and the Pig. Not that long ago in a kingdom not far from here, a farmer was travelling home from market with a cartload of straw. The farmer was so poor that he didn't have a horse and had to pull his own cart. That would be heavy, wouldn't it? In the back of the cart lay a tiny pink piglet. There it is. Tiny pink piglet. Nobody wanted to buy the piglet at market, but the farmer had taken pity on it. I'll call you Pigmella, he's decided, as this seems like a good name for a little pink pig. Do you like that name, Pigmella? Yep. It was a hot day and the farmer stopped to rest in the shade of a great castle. Big, tall castle. Far, far above him on a high balcony, a queen was inspecting her new baby daughter. The queen was so rich that she had seven nannies and didn't have to look after her own child. Wow, I bet your mum would just like one nanny to help her out, eh? The queen picked the baby out of her cot and held her at arm's length. I'll call her Priscilla she decided, as this seemed like a good name for a princess. See? Little baby. Gee, they're up high. A moment later, a wet squelching noise came from the baby's nappy, closely followed by an awful smell. Ooh, I think it pooed in its pants. Yuck! shrieked the queen, dropping the baby and running off to find the royal nannies. She left so quickly that she didn't even notice she had dropped the baby. <gasps> Over the edge of the balcony. Oh no. Down, down, down went the baby. Straight into the farmer's cart. And then up, up up flew the piglet straight into the princess's cot when the queen returned and found the piglet lying where the baby should have been she let out an even louder shriek <gasps> and fainted into the nanny's arms oh look at her she's fainted the king thought he knew what had happened. A bad fairy has done this, he explained. The fairy wasn't invited to the princess's christening, so she's turned our baby into a piglet to get her revenge. It's the sort of thing that happens all the time in books. Who knew? So the king's saying, a naughty fairy came and turned our baby into a pig. Do you think that's what happened? Meanwhile, the farmer had returned home and was startled to discover a baby girl lying where the piglet should have been. The farmer's wife thought she knew what had happened. Oh, I know what's happened. A good fairy has done this, she explained. The fairy knew how poor and honest we are and how badly we wanted a baby. So she's turned the piglet into a baby. It's the sort of thing that happens all the time in books. So they think a good fairy has turned the piglet into a baby girl. Did that happen? No. And so, without a second thought, the baby became Pigmella, the farmer's daughter. Her name's Pigmella. 
and the piglet became Priscilla, the princess. That's funny. It wasn't long before Pygmala was able to eat, walk, and dress all by herself. And the farmer and his wife soon forgot that she had ever been a pig. Things were not so easy for Priscilla. Oh dear, look at her eating. She's messing up the whole table. She's running around. Oh dear. They're trying to catch her, to dress her. But the king and queen never let anyone forget that she was really a princess. As Pygmala grew older, she grew clever. Look, she's reading books. And beautiful. She's brushing her hair and was admired by everyone she met. babies how are you i miss you and i love you and i can't wait to see you bye bye Mwah. as priscilla grew older she grew not so clever not so beautiful and was avoided by everyone she met then one day the farmer's wife overheard some of the castle servants talking about the princess who had turned into a pig it's just like what happened to Pygmala, she told her husband, only the other way around. The farmer soon guessed what had happened. The princess and the pig must have swapped places somehow. It's the sort of thing that happens all the time in books. Oh dear, what's going to happen? The poor farmer and his wife were very unhappy. They loved Pygmala, but they knew they must return her to her rightful home. Oh, look, they're so sad. They'll miss her. Pygmala was also unhappy. She loved the farmer and his wife and did not want to live with anyone else. But they were an honest family, so the next day they all went to the castle to see the king and queen. See? The king and queen listened to the farmer's story. See, he's there telling them what happened. But they didn't believe it. What nonsense, cried the queen. Oh, it's ridiculous, laughed the king. This girl may be clever and beautiful, but she does not look or speak like a proper princess. You think a pig looks like a proper princess? I don't think so. The queen thought she knew what was happening. It's a trick, she declared. This girl is just a farmer's daughter pretending to be a princess in the hope that she might marry a prince. It's the sort of thing that happens all the time in books. She's crazy. And so Pygmala returned home with the farmer and his wife where she married a young shepherd and lived happily ever after and never once wished that she had been a princess. Look at her, isn't she beautiful? All her friends are here, she's getting married. She doesn't want to be a princess. And Priscilla also got married to a handsome prince, although he had to be talked into it. Priscilla was changed into a pig by a bad fairy, the king explained. But once you kiss her, the spell will be broken and she will turn back into a beautiful princess, said the queen. It's the sort of thing that happens all the time in books, they assured him. Do you think she's going to turn into a princess when he kisses her? But unfortunately for the prince... It's not the sort of thing that happens in this particular book. He was married to a pig. Oh dear. <laughs> That's a funny one, isn't it? The princess and the pig. Well, we had a great day today, like I said. 
something very special happened today, and that is Luke, who is Lily's friend, got baptised. He got baptised today, and it was a beautiful day, and Lily and Luke sang a song at the baptism. Would you like to hear it? I might put a little bit on at the end of this video, shall I? And then we went up to a place called Charlie's Rock. And we drove in the car for about an hour. And then we ended up at this beautiful place with a waterfall. And lovely clear water, lots of rocks, and the kids were jumping off. So I'm going to show you a little bit of that video too. Would you like that? Okay, let's go. He is the Saviour. videos yeah did you see the kids doing some good diving and good swimming they're good aren't they that's kiwa in oakland yeah did you see auntie maddie and auntie lily there yeah it's good fun okay my darlings um that's story time for today i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i will talk to you again soon remember be good for mum and dad and kind to each other Bye, my sweethearts.